uh, here is the problem statement an agitated vessel six feet in diameter so this is dt contains a six blade straight blade turbine two feet in diameter and set one impeller diameter above the vessel floor and rotating at 80 rpm it is proposed to use this vessel to neutralizing a dilute aqueous solution of sodium hydroxide at 70 degree Fahrenheit with a stoichiometrically equivalent quantity of concentrated nitric acid. The final depth of liquid in the vessel is to be 6 feet. Assuming that all the acid is added to the vessel at one time, how long will it take for the neutralization to be complete? So we'll assume that the neutralization is complete when the mixing is complete. For this case, we'll use the relation between NTT and Reynolds number. So first we'll estimate the Reynolds number and from there we'll get the NTT value. Now for this problem we are also given N equals 80 pm which equals 1.33 per second. DA is given as 2 feet and we are given a dilute aqueous solution which means that we'll use the properties for water so we have rho to be 62.3 pound per feet cube and we'll use mu to be 6.6 .6 pound per feet second now this is the given information we need to find out what is the mixing time Now for this problem, we know that we have a relation between NTT versus Reynolds number. Now we know N, if you know Reynolds number, we can find out what is the term NTT and then you can find what is the mixing time. So step one is simply to calculate Reynolds number. Now we know that the Reynolds number is given as N D a squared rho over mu. You simply plug in these values. You will have 1.33 per second. 2 feet squared rho will be 62.3 pound per feet cube over 6.6 .6 times. It should be 10 to the minus 4 here. Pound per feet second. So this gives the value of Reynolds number to be 50,218. Now step two is to find NTT. So for this case, we have seen the value of Reynolds number to be 50,000. So we have this maximum value to 50,000, but the curves flats out. So whatever, whenever you get a value higher than this, you can use the same value. So for this case, we'll use the turbine with d over dt is one third. So for this case, we'll use this graph and we get the value here. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and this value is, so n t t value is 60 for this case. Now from the graph, we see this for n t t value is 60. So step 3 is simply calculate TT. This is given as TT will be 60 over N. So this is given as 60 over 1 point second inverse. This gives the value 45 second. So that's the time required for mixing for this case.